So I recently purchased this uh, generator, Westinghouse 7500 watts, and I bought this model for two reasons. The first reason is this generator is made in the United States, in Columbus, Ohio, most likely with the uh, global components, but the quality all around is uh, really good. The second reason is because 7500 watt is the maximum uh, wattage that a 30 amp cable can handle. So this is pretty much maxing a 30 amp cable. And the generator came also with some accessories like the uh, propane hose, some uh, engine oil, funnel, and some basic tools. A pretty nice feature that it has manual and auto choke, depending if you're starting the engine with the uh, pull or with the uh, starter. Yeah, the fuel gas is pretty solid. It has a built-in uh, fuel filter in the fuel line. This is the gas connection and the uh, fuel selection switch, gasoline or propane. Push button to start the engine, some uh, five volts outlets, LCD meter where you can read voltage, frequency, running hours, maintenance. This is a trickle charger connection for the battery and then some uh, outlet, 110 and the uh, 30 amp generator side and the muffler with the spark arrestor and here there is a label that says neutral bonded to frame and because i'm going to be using the generator to power up my house i'm going to convert it to floating neutral so i'm going to be doing some electrical work here that i'm going to show you later and in the top the gas tank 6.6 .6 gallon and it has a fuel level meter and with this generator, I can run my entire house except for the air conditioning. And I did that on purpose because if I want to run the air conditioning, most likely I will have to go with a 15,000 watts and above generator that has a much higher uh, fuel consumption. And since I'm planning to use this generator only in emergency situation, I'd rather have a generator with lower fuel consumption so gas will last longer. And some of the features I like in this generator is that it's a dual fuel gasoline and propane. It has remote start and although it doesn't have the quality of a Honda which is like three level above any other generator, this one is pretty good compared with uh, the similar in the same class. So I'm gonna add some fuel. I already have uh, oil in the engine and I'm gonna be running the generator four hours kind of like a running in and then I'm gonna remove the oil and put new oil. This is not explained in the uh, service manual. You just say run the engine until the first oil interval, but I'm just gonna do four hours of running, changing the oil just to make sure that if there is any um, debris or anything coming out of the engine, I just flash it right away after four hours running. All right, let's start the engine. A simple, no choke, everything automatic. On, start. The generator has been running four hours already, so I'm gonna drain the oil and put a fresh one. This one should be actually pretty clean. So I may use it for something else. So I can use this soil for assembling components on the tractor. It seems to be pretty clean. Just four hours. And I'm gonna refill it with a Castrol 5W30. And this fan is actually pretty handy. It swivel in this point in the middle. So now I'm sure that the uh, generator has fresh clean oil for the next, I believe it's uh, 50 running hours. Pretty much to the brim. Another cool feature in this generator is the remote start.
This generator has a neutral bonded to ground, and in order to make it safe to use uh, to power up the house, I'm going to remove that bond, and I'm going to convert it from neutral bonded to flow to neutral. And I made a video about why that is important, so you can check it out. So it's as easy as removing this cover. And here you can be seen how this uh, cable is connecting the neutral to the neutral. So I'm going to remove this cable. It takes just a few minutes, a couple of minutes to remove the bond. I'll remove this one. And I'm going to disconnect this terminal. So the bond is removed. Now the uh, generator is floating neutral. And I put the cover back on. And in order not to lose it, this wire, I'm just gonna zip tie here. So now the generator is ready for hurricane season. It has a fresh oil, gas, and it's converted to a floating neutral. I'm going to store it and then hope that I don't need it. Well, that's not true. As a good prepper, there is nothing like a good blackout so we can get the generator out, power up our houses, and feel that we were ready. Thank you for watching.